Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40 and in this episode we're going to do kind of a, a pre-food plot planting update. Wow, that's a mouthful. A pre-food plot planting update, which is going to include soil sample information and uh, if I decided to do herbicide or not do herbicide. Well, before we get going here, let's uh, let's do a, a spring update. How are the food plots looking? So, uh, I don't know if you can see right here, but there are lines in here of rye that were planted by the drill last year. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see them right there, right there, right there. So the rye is coming up. And then look even closer down in here, though. Look at all the clover that's coming up here. This crimson clover, yeah, there's a lot of weeds in here, too. But... Uh, you know, there's crimson clover all over the place in here. Look, you can see they're nipping off rye right there, nipping off weeds. I mean, they'll eat anything right now because if you look around, well, it is like the last week it started popping out some green, but even just last weekend, there was nothing. There's like no food for them. So they're, they have been out here in all these food plots, especially the one behind the house, mowing on, I think, all this clover that uh, if you can imagine, this is all clover and all rye all over out here. And uh, it's a great first green up for them uh, to get a good start on getting fed for the upcoming hunting season. That's only, oh my gosh, six months away. It is the end of April here on the west side of Michigan. And that means it is time to get some soil samples. And uh, as always, April is a crazy month weather-wise in the state of Michigan. Uh, it'll be 80 degrees and a couple days later it'll be 40. Uh, case in point, today is the last Saturday in April. It is right now 70 degrees out here. It's warm. It's almost too warm for me. <laughs> but two days from now, on Monday, the high is 40, which uh, unfortunately means Golf League is going to be canceled. That's not good. But uh, I have to get the soil samples going now because I've been waiting all season for it to be dry enough. It's been very wet so far. But the last four or five days have been warm and dry. So this is about as dry as it's going to get. So I'm getting out here with my soil sample machine. Um, soil sample bag, a bucket. And uh, just going to go around the fields and pluck out some. You, got, you know how to do this. I'm not going to go over how to do soil samples. There's a zillion videos out there on how to do this. So I'm not going to do that. But I am going to grab the samples real quick. And then... Um, It'll probably be two or three weeks till I get the results back. I'll wait to finish this video until I get those results. So probably here are the results. Yes, I have soil samples. Today is May 31st here on the west side of Michigan. And about a month ago, I grabbed some soil samples out of all the fields here. And I got them back. And I guess I just want to kind of go over the results of this. Maybe summarize a little bit of my thoughts and some concerns that I have uh because of these results so <clears throat> number one field i've got three fields that i did samples in one of the fields is very moist and it actually <laughs> is up by the house and it gets water on it. it it used to be part of our yard it gets water on it that actually has done very well so i started this process in 2018 so this is the fifth spring since i have rototilled any of the food plots so I can't believe it's been five years since any of the soil has ever been worked up. It's, I just can't believe it. But, but uh, that, that field that gets moisture on it, that I've been no-tilling for five years, has gone from 1.66% organic matter to 1.75% organic matter in five years. So that one is gaining. Is gaining. It, went, it went down for a year, and then now it's starting to go back up as far as organic matter goes. Okay? Um... The food plot that we have done all of our experiments in is not this one. This is the, the uh, Sahara plot. Very, very challenging food plot. It's very sandy. Um, the other one that we uh, have our West Blind on, if you are familiar with the channel, you know that plot. Um, back in 2020, it had 3.14% organic matter. And it's disappointing because now, here we are, it has 3.01% organic matter. So the organic matter has gone down 
0.13% in three years. And I have not rototilled it. I have not tilled it. Oh, uh, you've seen what we've been doing out there. Just drilling stuff in. But, well, let me give you the results of this other one and then I'll tell you what some of my thoughts are on that. Um, and then this plot right here, the Sahara, this is a, if you're not familiar with the channel, it's a, it's high, it is sandy, sandy, sandy. Um, back in 2020, it was 2.56% organic matter. Is this, these things boring to you? <laughs> Hang in there with me. Uh, right now it is 2.33% organic matter and it's gone down about a, a, a tenth of a percent the last two years. So it's going down and I haven't done anything any tillage but I guess the good thing that has happened is that the fertilizer recommendation on these things and this is I guess this is kind of who I'm right here's the organic matter so but the interesting thing that I found was the fertilizer recommendation has gone down significantly in the last five years to the point where it is about it's about 50 pounds of actual material um, of actual nitrogen, phosphorus, um, and potassium that they say I need less of. So when that's like a 19, a triple 19 fertilizer, um, you know, you're talking a hundred pounds of fertilizer, l less fertilizer that you're throwing on there. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I mean, that's a big difference. And I have not fertilized this, um, probably in three years, no fertilizer. I haven't sprayed it for weeds. I've done nothing but just pretty much try to roll it over and drill stuff into it. Can you believe that? That it's it, it, even though the organic matter is not going up, it is pumping in nitrogen. It's pulling out potassium. It's pulling out um, potash, phosphate, all that stuff. Potassium, yeah, potash, I guess, whatever. So I, I found that to be interesting. So if you have sandy food plots, here's kind of what uh, I did a little recon on this. And the reason organic matter goes down is oxygen. And sand is a very coarse uh, soil. And so oxygen is getting, still getting down into that soil and burning up the organic matter. So um, I need to do a little bit more research on how am I going to respond to this. Um, I just took the shovel and went out there and dug around to see if I could find some worms and I still don't have any worms. So here we are five years and no worms and I want to be a worm farm, right? That's really kind of what our, our goal is. That means we got moisture and organic matter, but it's so dry right now. Um, but there's still some moisture in the soil. Uh, what I have noticed is happening is on the top of the soil, it's almost like getting a, a web of, um, I just, it's organic matter. It's just kind of a, a spongy little web, maybe a eighth or quarter of an inch deep. Uh, on, along the whole food plot and so I know that that is organic matter but when you take that soil sample you're going down six inches with that soil sample and when you pull that thing up there's still a lot of stuff in there uh, that hasn't had a root grow in it yet in the last five years and I think because it's sand that what does grow out here isn't growing really really well now the food plot I told you about number one back by the house that gets water that is a really green, luscious food plot, and the organic matter is growing and getting higher in that soil. It's the same soil. But here where we don't water it, stuff isn't as robust, and so there's not as much organic matter. There's not as many roots growing down into the soil to leave organic matter there. So I think uh, that Mother Nature is going to have a lot to do with it as far as a, a, a good year at some point in time of getting great moisture and really growing the uh, the foliage and the roots and uh, deciding on what I'm planting too. I'm reconsidering what I'm planting. I have planted the last couple years um, summer release and fall release from green cover seed which is recommended by uh, Dr. Grant Woods and, and uh, you know it has grown out here and done pretty well but um, I think I need to change that up. I think I need to be, reconsider exactly what's going on out here and plant stuff that is very specific. Like I'm thinking maybe for an example, like I need radishes out here because I need something that's a big tuber that drills down into that soil and leaves a big chunk of organic matter down in that soil instead of just all those real fine roots that the, the rye you can see out here has been growing, it grows, but maybe the roots aren't getting uh, as far as, as they normally would on, on normal soil. So 
Um, anyways, maybe I just need to really focus on stuff that thrives in sand and dry conditions for a few years so I get that darn organic matter down in um, the roots, down into the soil, down deeper than just that little layer on top. So, so that's kind of what's going on with the, the soil. After five years of no-till, uh, we're learning, <laughs> especially in sand. Um, I think the other thing I wanted to cover was one of my decisions uh, this year was, am I going to spray for weeds? Uh, if you follow the channel you saw last year, we had Nightmare's Tail out here. It's Mare's Tail, but we call it Nightmare's Tail because it's, it's tough stuff. Um, th this field was covered with it. I mean, it's this high, just covered with it. And uh, I did that for a couple years and I did not spray for it. I just kind of let it go. And I think this year, obviously you can see, I decided it's time to spray. So I sprayed, I've mixed up a cocktail of um, glyphosate for most of the weeds. Um, around here in Michigan, mare's tail is resistant to Roundup. So people are recommending uh, 2,4-D. So I mixed 2,4-D in there too, along with all the surfactants and all that kind of stuff. So, and then I sprayed it a week ago yesterday. Um, so I, because there's 2,4-D in there, you have to wait for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna wait for a couple of weeks and then hopefully we get some rain and I'm gonna drill right into this stuff. And then we're off and running. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any, if you're like a farmer guy that happens to be watching this and you know why my organic matter is going down in the sand, even though I'm not tilling, um, man, all of us on this channel would love for you to make a comment on that because uh, there's probably a lot of guys on here who have that sandy soil and are working on no-till trying to build up their food plots so we would love it if you could make a comment so uh, all right thanks see you in the next one